Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel. And hello, if you are new here, if you are new here and so ripping content is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because that is what we are focused on over here. Okay, today's video is gonna be another thrift haul. So last year, maybe two years ago, last year, last year, there was a really big like community flea market garage sale. It's an annual thing. My mom and I found out about it last year. We went, I will link the haul video that I did up here somewhere um, for last year. So we found a lot of really good stuff. So we were like, when they're doing it next year, we're definitely going. Well, that was two weekends ago now. And I have my little pile of goodies here to share with y'all. So it's just going to be a casual sit down haul. So I'm going to stop rambling and let's go ahead and get on into all of the goodies that we found. First things first is something that I was like dead set on, okay, this is for resale, but now that I have it in my home and I put it up against like some of my decor, I'm like, wait a minute, I think I love it. It's just like a moody floral print. I'm a sucker for moody florals. I love flowers, if you cannot tell, okay? Um, so I just put this in a couple different areas in our home and I was like, wait a minute, I... I love it. I don't think I can part with it. So I, I'm, yeah, it's probably going to go in a gallery wall somewhere in the house at some point, but I just, I can't part with it. I love it. It was $3, $3. Like, come on. I will say I do have a good mix of things to keep and resell. So some of these things, they will be going up in my Etsy store, which will always be linked along with the little discount code down in the description. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of myself for finding some things for sale and some things for me to keep and not just one or the other. But this is one of the things that is going to be going up in my Etsy store. It's this really cute, like retro mid-century frame. It's metal with some sort of like resin floral detail. Really pretty. It was a dollar. And I just thought it was really darling, especially for the upcoming spring season. So if you're interested, it'll be in my Etsy store. I might put a picture in it. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I might just leave it at as I might just leave it as is, but we'll see. I have another frame. Love this one. It's a mix of brass and I think like wood or some sort of wood look material. Um, but it's just really, really pretty. Again, this was a dollar. And I love just like the little corner details. It's very intricate, very pretty. For a dollar, I was not gonna leave it behind. I know sometimes it's difficult to see the items that I'm showing in this portion of the video. So if you stay tuned to the end, I do like a little montage B-roll footage of all of the things that I hauled. So if you're curious to see something up close, wait till the end before the outro, you will see it there. The next item that I picked up from this amazing community sale is this little basket. I think this is so darling. I want to put it on top of my bookshelves here with like some trailing like moody greenery or something some sort of florals just to add a little bit of different texture with number one the wicker but also the plant uh, it was a dollar and I love just like the curved detailing it's just it's stunning and the handle has like different colors I don't know. it's just really pretty I absolutely love it love it love it so picked that up for a dollar and it is filled with some goodies I also found this little crystal bud vase <laughs> How cute is that for a dollar? They had like six or seven of these all gathered together on the table. And I was like, ooh, which one do I love? So I grabbed the biggest one. I just think it's so cute. These are, I have one here somewhere. Here. I have a, another one. So I just like these little things. They're really cute to layer with some larger vases. It's just, it's pretty for a dollar. I like couldn't leave it. So picked that up. Also, I'm a big Halloween gal, and I love an apothecary, witchy, dark academia vibe all year round, but also especially for Halloween when I decorate. So I'm always on the hunt for little vintage bottles such as this. These can get very expensive if you find them in an antique store. So I was super, super grateful to find a little container with, I think there was maybe like 10 little jars, all for a dollar. So I grabbed one. Next up is something that my mom found, and I've never seen anything like this before. It's truly vintage. It's a little stamp dispenser. Where is the little here? So you unscrew this little topper piece, 
you take off the brass portion, you put your roll of stamps, you put it back together as so, and your little roll of stamps comes out there and you can um, rip it off and you have your stamps. It was a quarter and I thought that was just so darling, so cute, what a unique find. So this will be going up in my Etsy store and I just, I love it. I love little stuff like this, this is so darling. Imagine this on like a vintage writing desk with like your little calligraphy pen and like all your stationery and just cute, it's cute. I love it. Super cute. Again, this haul is rather short, so we're on to our last few pieces. Next up is something that I've been seeing on some interior design inspiration, you know, on Pinterest and Instagram and the like. Um, these little swans. So what I've seen people do is they will roll like hand towels or put like decorative soaps and then display it next to your bathroom sink. I thought this one was darling with this floral detail in here as well. I just thought it was super cute. It was two bucks. Made in the USA. We love it. So this is already up in my Etsy store. If you guys are interested, I'm going to say that at infinitum, but that's where you'll find it if you're interested. Another Etsy store item are going to be these wooden salt and pepper shakers. I actually just sold a pair of these not too long ago. These are not as great of quality as the last ones however even if you don't use them and you just style them in your kitchen these are super cute for like that cottagey farmhousey like rustic vibe so i think someone will really really enjoy these all right everyone i did mention that this was a short haul so this brings us to our last item i do have a pair of them however the other one is stored away nice and wrapped up so i'm just gonna leave it there for the time being but i do have a pair of these amazing amazing brass wall candle sconces that's a mouthful but oh my goodness these are beautiful they have the original sticker here on the back they're solid brass really really good quality and i mean they look almost brand new there's no like gunk in there as they usually come with so these are just stunning i know someone is going to go crazy over these and you will find these on my Etsy store by the time you see this video. So if you're interested in anything, go ahead, click the link below. And of course, as I mentioned already, there is a discount code for y'all, but that is gonna be it for the haul. Everyone, and that is going to wrap it up for today's video if you're wondering why there was no thrift with me portion it's because although the place is large in size they pack it to the brim with tables and goodies and that brings out all of the people so i'm not too worried about filming as much as i am going in and finding all of the treasures and you guys just get to see the fun part the haul what goodies did i find so that is why there is no shop with me portion in case you were wondering Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now for my spiel. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know your favorite item that I grabbed down below. Mine's gonna be that moody floral print because I'm a sucker for it and I just love it. And more than that, if you guys are excited for more content to come, you're enjoying the videos thus far, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are not. And I'm gonna stop rambling. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.